Okay, for so question for 6C, we've got X squared plus Y squared minus 4X plus 2Y minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so the first thing to do, start grouping your X's together. So you've got X squared plus, sorry, negative 4X So negative 4x plus y squared plus 2y. Now I'll kick the negative 4 to the other side because that will be part of the radius. So let's just move that across. Sometimes you can include it in your answer, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to move the constant to the other side. So just put 4 on that side. Now I need to make a space here because now I need to complete squared twice. So x squared minus 4x plus something plus y squared plus 2y plus something equals 4 plus something plus something. So these numbers will be added to the right side as well. So when we complete the square here, we've got a negative 4. So we halve and square that number. We'll get 4. So four is the number you're at here. And we'll do the same with the two here, the two y. So we take that two, we halve it and we square it. So that will give you one. So we'll add a one here. So now add those two numbers to the other side. So four and one, like that. So now we complete the square on the x and on the y here. So we'll have x minus the square root of four, which is two, all squared, plus y plus the square root of one, which is one, all squared, equals four plus four plus one, which is nine. So now we have it in the standard form. So your center will be two, and negative one from here. And your radius will be the square root of nine, which is three. So in 60, I've already rearranged the question a little bit to save space. So then we need to complete the square with the X term and with the Y term. So we'll have X squared plus eight X so half of eight is four and four squared is 16. So we'll add 16 there, plus y squared plus two y. So half of two is one and one squared is one. So we add one there. So minus 18 plus 16 plus one, which is 17, interesting. So now we can actually stop because on this side, you're going to get negative one. We don't have a positive number here. So this is not a graph of a circle. So even if we did complete the square, x plus four all squared plus y plus one all squared, this looks fine, but look at this number here. This is negative. And remember the square root of that should be the radius. So the radius should be the square root of negative one. So this is a complex number which means that this graph cannot be a circle. So you imagine how that's working. When you square two numbers, it doesn't matter what X and Y are. When you square numbers, they become positive, don't they? Right, so when you add two positive numbers, how are you going to get a negative number? You can't, can you? So if you try to graph that in a program, you're not gonna get a graph at all because you can't square numbers and get a negative number. So this graph doesn't exist. So graph doesn't exist. And it's certainly not a circle, but that's, that's for sure. So be looking for this. This number needs to be positive. Be positive. So 
So you can stop there. So if you gave me some answer, you won't be correct. So this actually one, this actual question is not, uh, doesn't give a graph of a circle. 